Minnesota's latest real estate report shows a big boom for February with a 30% increase in new listings. That means there are many more homes on the market compared to last year at this time, and home buyers are not wasting time. They're snapping up properties. Good news all around, right? If you're a realtor, there's worry about impacts to your income. The National Association of Realtors last week agreed to eliminate the standard 6% sales commission. Minnesota Realtors CEO Josh McFall is on the line with more. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Kathy. Appreciate you having me this morning. I appreciate your time. Thank you. That was a strong February. You know, it's building on a string of four months of increased listings. What are you expecting heading into the spring? Yeah, we're seeing some signs that the housing market is looking more like it did in the pre-pandemic uh, times. So a few key metrics that we track are things like closed sales. They were up 12% in comparison to a year ago. Pending sales, uh, those that are uh, you know waiting to close, uh, are up 13%. This indicates uh, that activity really does remain strong for, for buyers and for sellers. Most of these uh, will be reflected in our March closed sales numbers, which we expect to be uh, good again. And then, uh, as you mentioned, new listings are up 35% over what they were a year ago. So we're seeing the market activity really picking back up after a slower 2023. Buyers are still outpacing sellers, though, in many parts of the metro area. And there are some folks who think it's still pretty tough to be a buyer, wouldn't you say? Right. Right. If you're in the market as a buyer, um, more inventory is definitely good news. It means you have um, you know, more options. However, there are still ongoing challenges. So uh, despite a 35% increase in new listings, Minnesota has just uh, 1.9 months of supply available statewide, which means that if we suddenly had no new listings in the market, we'd only last about two months before our inventory hit zero. I'm wondering about the shortage of starter homes. Is that getting any better? Yeah, so the the supply of homes overall is uh, is still you know a big uh, indicator for us. We're watching an ongoing inventory shortage because competition remains so strong uh, for both existing and new construction uh, homes. So it's really reflected because our median sales price, uh, which is uh, right at three twenty nine three hundred twenty nine thousand in February, is up about four and a half percent. So. If you're a first-time buyer in the market uh, who you can't uh, take advantage of your home equity, it's uh, still tough uh, to get into the market. Uh, So high home prices combined with the stiff competition and interest rates, which we hope to get some good news about soon, do make it tough to uh, get into that starter home. Um, One of the trackers that we look at is affordability. Um, So nationally, there's a housing affordability index, uh, which measures whether a typical family earns enough income to qualify uh, to purchase a home. So our housing affordability index measured at 96 in February, which was down 8% from last year. So in short, what that means is that when the that, when that value drops, it tells us that a typical family doesn't make enough uh, to qualify for a mortgage in our region, which again is all the more reason to work with realtors in your purchase or sale of a home because realtors know all the programs and and have access to the expert knowledge to help you navigate with potential grant programs down payment programs and let me ask um, you uh, uh, navigate that yeah good let me ask you about your business i got to ask you about the the uh decision the settlement that cut sales commissions helpful for buyers not so much for realtors what are your folks saying yeah, so um, just to kind of set the record straight on that, that realtors have never set commissions. There's never been a standard commission. It's always been negotiable uh, with that. And so with the class action case that we settled on Friday, uh, what it took issue with was an MLS rule where listing brokers could really offer an offer of compensation to a buyer's broker. So if you're uh, in the market to purchase a home, then uh, you were, uh, you know, assured that your agent would get paid because no one wants to work for free, not even realtors. Um, and so typically this has been paid by the seller, but whether a seller wants to offer cooperating comp- compensation now to a buyer's broker and how much, it's always been negotiable, but now it'll be um, a little more difficult uh, to negotiate that. We believe that um, it's probably going to make things a bit harder for consumers and not, especially not easier on buyers and especially those first-time buyers that we were just talking about. All right. Josh, thank you.